like it all. Keep it a stack. Put some more cause they know I got bands. They've been chatting, I don't give a damn, and I'm still getting money, I know who I am. Trying to be low, he gon' hit on my gram. If he's not, he gon' act like a fan. If he's bigger, they bitch, you have guys. Bitch is slow, so I give him my pass. And I just fell in love with a gangster. Like, so he put my name in the top. But I don't let him come to the crib. So we get it on where we at. Uh, I was supposed to vlog me getting ready to go to this freaking tour, but now I'm running late. I'm about to miss the freaking bus. I'll check in with y'all when I'm like on a train or some shit. Okay, so I literally thought I forgot. Well, I forgot I was supposed to be vlogging. And I'm on my way to freaking school. I low key don't know where it is, so I'm a little lost. I'm pretty sure it's this way. When I'm downtown. That's fine. Yeah, hold on, let me check. Okay, there we go. But yes, here is downtown. For the outfit of the day. Very much basic. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Okay. But I do know. See, that's where I'm heading. Okay. I don't even know if you can hear me because of the train. But let's go on. So I literally was supposed to film me getting ready. I was with the phone, me literally doing my makeup here, all that. But I woke up 10 minutes before I was supposed to go. So this is what y'all are getting. And I didn't want to film on the train because like practice were harassing me. So yeah, there's that. But um, hopefully you guys can hear me better now that the uh, train is gone. But yes, I'm on my way to tour the school. In 100 feet, the destination is on your left. Ugly. Uh, I think this video is going to go up on Friday. If not, don't drag me. Arrived. Yeah, I should have crossed. Yeah, I'm risking my life going this Okay, let me stop. But this is what a little bit of downtown looks like. I got these raggedy ass Converse on right now. Let me stop recording before I get angry. And we also go off the road with Walmart. Yeah. And then every day we get the unit ID, and in order to access the building, we have to be happy to get your computer. Oh. Here's a couple of And let's say someone's trying to get into the building, it turns red and alerts security um, all the security posts that someone's trying to get into the building. Are you um, ready? A lounge space for students. We got TV, couches, and then we have a pool table over there. What's in there? That's the office of the residence life. So, any questions you have about housing, you call them. Be oh. major. Sustainability and environmental science. I this was a green building. Yes. Also, uh, I do a lot of energy saving stuff. So yes. That's like on a website. Yeah. Where are you studying? I am going for business. Nice. Yes. Where are you? I'm going for education. Mm. Elementary education? Uh, I think high school. Okay, cool. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they're usually small in front of our bigger classrooms, so our student to faculty ratio is 11 to 1. So we don't have teaching. Orion building, which was built in the late 1800s, this hotel, but then when the school got founded in the 1940s, we turned it into a school. And this is the bridge that connects the two buildings, so you never have to actually go outside. Is this nice and windy? Yeah, very nice. Oh, I forgot about the winters. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> right here is our famous lounge. We have it set up right now for an event, but usually there's a bunch of like couches and lounge chairs here. And this is like students who take this bunch of like lot um, after class, hang out, and I've taken a few of them for a while. So here's a little tour, if you did not know, that is Carroll Washington Library, and it is so pretty on the inside and upstairs. They have um, 
something called the Winter Garden. Very beautiful, very beautiful. But yeah, just walking. So we are on, are on an operation to find some freaking food because your girl is starving. I'm literally so fucking hungry right now. It's like, ooh, panda kind of sound good though. I'm not gonna lie. Let me see. Let me see. I don't know. Let me look up a Starbucks nearby. Hold on. my charger decided to break inside my port today so that was interesting but um yeah i'm probably just gonna go to the library and then um pick up a few books and then go back home so that should be interesting but yeah i don't want to record and eat so i'll check back in when i'm done my freaking Starbucks sandwich so I'm probably gonna head home and so I have to come back out later I know that people were looking at me crazy because I just sat on their steps I don't even know if you can sit there but I was hungry and I was not about to walk and eat so they can get over it I'm gonna go home get dressed I don't know if so I got free admission to the freaking museum but I don't know if the free admission covers the Van Gogh exhibit have come to my lips but i don't know if it covers the mango exhibit hopefully it does because that'd be really cool to see if not it's whatever i can go another time but i'm gonna go home get dressed probably put on some cute my makeup a little more extra and also find some lashes and then i'll head back out low key if i wanted to be like really productive i could just edit while i go home get this video already ready and um like good to go up come back out and i'll have time to like clear the storage up on my phone record a little bit of me getting ready for the freaking museum and a little get ready with me and then i can i don't know if i can vlog in the museum mainly because like you know like how some art exhibits and stuff like you can't take pictures but like just little institutions sometimes they don't want you recording and stuff like that so i'm not sure but we will see if i can i will because I want to get some good content because I feel like my channel, my views are definitely like becoming more consistent. Like before, I would get like 15, 16 views on a video and then like 20 on another one. But now they're getting pretty consistent. So hopefully you guys are fucking with it. I don't know. But yeah, all these old people are looking to be crazy, but anything for a bag, sis. So not anything. That sounded crazy. But yeah, I gotta find my way back to the train. I'm going the wrong way, but it's okay. Who cares? Who cares? Loki, if I cry coffee up, and if that was the case, I could have just got Duncan because Duncan fucks your coffee up like every time. But Duncan also makes my stomach hurt, so I'm glad I didn't get it. But yeah, I'm getting serenaded, so there's that. <laughs> find good copyright free music let me know because i am tired of using the same like four different playlists for uh music in the background of my vlogs and it's getting repetitive i cannot stop it so yeah i was looking on youtube but they were saying that if like by licensing and stuff like that I'm like girl i get the artists get deserve like they deserve to get paid but like fuck 
don't think that means you like money with it. To spend it on music licensing. I probably seem conceited as fuck to the people who are like watching me vlog and shit, but I'm fuck. I'm having fun, so yeah. Anywho. Child, I am ready to go home, honey. I don't think see. It's hot as fuck. But the train's coming, so I'm headed home. Then I'm gonna come back out. You're not gonna be able to hear me. So, um, hi guys. Basically, I was gonna go to the museum today, but I'm gonna go next week. I'm actually gonna head home and start getting ready because I got a bottle girl interview. <laughs> Y'all don't know how hard it is to try to get a bottle girl job in Chicago. Like, they gatekeep. Like, the girls do not be trying. Like, listen, the girls do not try to put each other on at all. They get onto them bottle girl jobs and cling onto them for like dear life. So, finally got an interview, and I was supposed to go tomorrow, but they actually want me to come in tonight and get an interview. So, hopefully, they're not trying to kidnap me or nothing weird. But, yeah. Hopefully, I don't get pimped out. I keep having a fear in the back of my head. Like, uh, what if, like, bottle girl pro teams are really just pimps? But, yeah, who knows? Wish me luck. I'm going to film me getting ready. I'm actually going to head home. I'm waiting for my phone to charge up a little bit, then I'm going to leave. And then um, I'll find the process of me. I'm gonna install my wig and get all cute. I got my thigh high boots, even though it's summertime. Like, I don't have any other cute shoes, and I really don't know what else to wear. So, I'm gonna wear that. But, for not, for not, we'll still be going to the museum, just not today. I think I'm gonna do the next Thursday instead. Also, you see my little curls? They're so cute. Like, my edges are definitely sorted out, but it's adorable, adorable. I love it. But, I have to be ready because I'm at a bottle girl interview and I have to leave out in like an hour, not even an hour, more like 25 minutes. And I have to do my hair, I have to do my makeup. This is what all my wigs look like, so we're not going to have a wig today. I have to find my lashes. My life is in shambles, darling. Shambles. Bear with me. So I am going to go like get my makeup set up so I can do it here real quick and then just talk to y'all for a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to lie y'all. This is not going to be like a typical get ready with me. So I'm going to do... I'm thinking, yeah, I'm gonna do, I look like Frederick Douglass, but uh, I'm gonna do a slick ponytail. So because I don't feel like fighting with this camera and trying to make sure I look good on this camera, I'll come back when my ponytail is done. And then um, I'll like chime in at certain parts, but I really gotta hurry up because I still gotta like go there, like drive there. While my straightener is coming up, I'm going to start my makeup. Oil, because you know that's necessary. Who will put too much on my side? So, girl, I'm nervous as fuck. But this whole time, what if they don't hurt me? But like I'm cute and friendly, so maybe I like, what if I seem like too, I feel like a lot of times jobs, especially in the night scene, don't be hiring me because I think they think I'm too timid. But it's like, I'm not timid, I'm just quiet. But like I'm outgoing when I get in a space where I need to be outgoing. Ever going out with me, you know, like I'm life of the freaking party. But uh, just in situations where I don't have to talk to people, I don't, like I don't go out of my way to talk to people. But, uh, if it's obviously a party scene and it's like the point is to mingle and like chop it up with motherfuckers and duh but they i messaged the i actually saw a girl on tiktok to be like i don't know if it was like my day in the life as a body girl or she did something with a body girl so i messaged her because i thought she was in chicago and i was like oh my gosh is your job hiring and she said yeah and like i messaged a couple girls before like asking stuff like that but they don't be responding like i said earlier in the video they gatekeep which I understand because it's a tips based business. So like you don't want too many people coming in and stealing your tips and like you got a book section and stuff like that. So I get it. But it's just like, yeah, can somebody put me on? No, Shorty wasn't a hater. Uh, she sent me the name of the place and literally that was today. Reach out to them today and they want me to come in for an interview today. 
but I really hope I'm not late. But I was supposed to have my interview tomorrow, actually. So if I am late, I'm not too pressed about it because we had agreed upon tomorrow. Y'all, or they last minute, wanted me to come in today. So, and I was all the way in a different area, all the way downtown, busy as fuck, doing stuff with my school. I'm supposed to be at the museum actually right now because I had a little date planned for myself. But I was like, you know, the bag comes first. So I was like, museum date can wait. Let's go get some money. Cause I want to take my mom to Vegas for her 50th birthday. And that's not free. So I got to get out here. I came in looking crazy as fuck. Here, I look cat scared. It's okay. We're going to fix it. It don't look as crazy as it does on camera, I promise, in person. My makeup brush broke today and I don't even have time to go look for my other one. Girl, I look crazy as fuck. Let me do my eyebrows and come back. Oof. Oh shit, my thing almost fell. But as you can see, I've done my edges. I've touched up my hair, finished the left touches in the bathroom because the lighting in here is terrible. Y'all, my social anxiety is on 10 right now because I'm like maxed out on social interactions for the day. I freaking had to go up to my school, do my little tour, and then from this, like, fuck, I'm dealing with people all day. I am not used to that. I'm used to having like people in doses, you know, going about my old black business. So this is what it's looking like. Time check. I'm gonna go grab my clothes, uh, start getting dressed. And y'all think wearing a skirt to an interview is kind of like unprofessional. I don't know. But it's like a bottle girl job, so I'm like, I don't know what the interview is higher. You know, this skirt make it look like I ain't got no ass. This is really objectifying now that I think about it. But whatever. I don't have time to have morals right now. show y'all my fit but this is the hair this is what it came out looking like i have a skirt on up under here but i'm not gonna work walk down fucking can't drive and no damn skirt you must be out your mind so when i get back i'll show you guys a full like outfit and like what i decided to wear and everything but i'm running late so i gotta get the fuck up out of here wedding jacket this is the fit but i just got back home I got the job, so. So you're looking at your newest bottle girl in the Chicago area. Pretty much on spot. I didn't even have an interview. It was just like kind of just thrown into the team, like, okay, you're one of us now. Which I appreciated. I appreciated it. And all the girls were so pretty, and they were literally all bad as fuck. I'm pretty sure I'm the youngest one here. So there is that. But everybody was super sweet and very welcoming. But this is my first time meeting them, so who knows? Maybe that'll change. But I hope the good vibes keep going. I was fucking with it. Um, I'm sober. I didn't drink. They offered me a drink. Or maybe I shouldn't say that. Anyways, I'm sober. But I did get some chicken wings. Them chicken wings? Girl, I got some plain wings with some lemon pepper. Ooh, it's bomb. Too good. Shout out to the cook. And it's very much family oriented in here. So, I was fucking with it. But yeah, so my butter girl jeans are coming true. It's crazy that, that like at all the things in life I aspire to be a butter girl is one of them. But I'm trying to get a quick bag because I want to take my mom to Vegas, like I said earlier in the video. And I'm trying to find my business. Y'all hear my hand on that girl. Oh, you see it. You see it. You see it. Let me stop. Anyways, uh, book with me because that's how I'm going to make my money. I need y'all to book sections. I need not only y'all to book sections, but buy bottles. If you're not coming to my section and buy at least some bell air like some freaking cosmigos or something i was gonna buy a patron cosmigos open you can get some patron but if you get too close let me stop anywho my first day of work is tomorrow so i'll film like my first day how it went prepared as a model girl but yeah i'm getting tired so it's time for me to unwind I go to bed and shower. I was gonna be busy. I was complaining about not having nothing to do and being in the house, and God was like, "Over here, bitch." Fine. Is that disrespectful? Maybe I shouldn't use bitch in that sentence. 
so yeah if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe because i want to get 200 subscribers by let me get myself a goal i got this just go artist <laughs> let's see our subscriber count is 63 i believe let's get 200 subscribers by august 31st how about that is that realistic i don't think it's unrealistic i right, just need 40 more so yeah, uh, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and you want to see more content from me, feel free to check out my other videos. I'm definitely going to be posting more. As you, if you can't see already, I'm posting more consistently. I've posted twice in the past month, which is better because I was posting like every month or so. Kind of take both at night. Um, if you guys want a complete video, I like self care, maintenance, and I uh, like health stuff. I can make one of those. I can tell you what I really use as far as like body care products, skin care products. I also went to the esthetician school, like I mentioned. So I'm pretty well versed in all that stuff, and also different products and I use, as well as just the different supplements I take. I gotta have to do a video on that. But as I choose my actual Honda, I go in with this complete multivitamin. The reason I'm going to include this in the video is because it's um, just kind of like a get ready with me, you know, like a long day, how I'm down type thing. Let me make sure. Yeah, this is the one a day. I take these all when I do my uh, freaking bloom at night so that when I do it, like the bloom stuff, it reminds me, oh, health time, let's take all our vitamins. So, and this stuff is really good when it's like ice cold. Like it's good on its own, but like ice, ice cold is mm, too good. I just wanted to include that little part so the girlies are out here really taking care of themselves. Not only is it important to look physically good, it's important to feel physically good. Health is wealth, my loves. So, so, yes. Hi, I hope you guys have a good night. And oh, don't forget to follow me on TikTok, KLE444. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is DK Elizabeth. Don't add me on Facebook. I'm gonna be talking shit on Facebook. Y'all will see like my real ghetto side, plus my family's on there, so that's weird. Twitter, my Twitter's private, but yeah, you got me on Snapchat if you want. It is. I don't even know what my Snapchat is because I don't use it. Bye, y'all.